This video is going to be for the FSE, the truss. I did a quick tutorial on chalkboarding class, and this is just going to be a video representation of that. Um, some people may have missed it, and I'd like everyone to have the same opportunity to do, be exposed to the same instructional material. So get you started. Uh, first things first, this truss is symmetrical, which means all the measurements given on the right hand side will be identical on the left hand side. So to get started, I'm going to go with the basic overall shape of the truss. So we have 17 here and we have 5 feet tall here. Now keep in mind that 5 feet tall starts at this top point. So we're going to have to bear in mind that the distance from here to here is 4 and 1 16 of an inch. Okay. So I'm going to start with a 17 foot line. 17 feet and then from there once again 4 and 1 16th let's use the rectangle option give this a quick spin make sure that you're not drawing it flat on the ground now from there we're going to go 5 feet we're going to go on center so there we go midpoint 5 feet join it to the top corner and the top corner now we've got our basic shape now from here we're going to go import my device I'll click on my device you should have already saved this file which was given in the assignment and we're going to open that up we're going to import it as a component and let's bring it over to our drawing surface now once you drop it off it's a component but the whole thing's one giant component which doesn't make it very easy to use so while it's still blue I'm going to right click and I'm then going to click on explode okay now what that means is you should be able to move everything individually rather than a group of three okay so I'm going to grab a board from here and let's bring this on over and I'm going to spin it and let's do that and then let's make this flat like so. We're spinning it in increments of 90 degrees. Now let's get our secondary toolbar. We clicked on those three dots and we're going to grab our protractor. So let's figure out exactly what this angle is. Let's go here, go, let's go click. If it lets us, there we go, click on there. Now I'm going to go over kind of far. click and I'm going to go up to here so 30.5 is what it says it is okay so we should be able to get away with now I'm going to quickly write this down because I want to make sure everyone knows what it is so it's 30.5 degrees Okay, I'll just leave that there. Now we should be able to rotate this in the same pattern. Go up, type in 30.5, enter. Okay, so we have that. So let's take this board. We're going to go over here, grab by that corner. Now let's place it right there. Let's go make that component unique, otherwise the other one will get changed. Let's go edit component. Now the first change we're going to make is we're going to go click and 
push this over. Okay, so now we have mirrored the shape. Okay, let's do it over here as well. Edit this component. We're gonna go from here up. Okay. Let's erase this. Perfect. So now we've got our board. It's mimicking the silhouette that we created. Now, before you get too far, this once again is perpendicular. So let's do this. Now we're going to rotate that. Obviously there's no flat surface to rotate that on. So just make it blue. Put the rotator on the flat right there. Go click and we're going to go 180. Grab that corner and there you go. If you're not sure, swing on down here and everything's kosher. Okay, so we've got our basic top shape done. Now what we need to do, I think we've already established that you know what that is. Okay. Now we've got the top two done. Now let's do this board here. Now this board dimension is from the top of the board to the bottom of that point, not the top of the point. So it's trying to say from here to the top of that board is two feet. Okay, so here's what we can do. We can just go like this. I can go two feet. And I'm going to go directly out, let's say, to here. We're going to erase that line anyway. It's a construction line, so don't worry about that. So let's now go over here, and we're going to grab this board here. We only need to use one, so we don't need to copy that. We can just grab the whole board, unless you make some mistakes. And if you do, you can always import another one. Okay, so let's just change this around. Uh, this is going to be flat. So there's no need for the protractor or an angle. There we go. Okay, let's grab this. Now this board is oversized. Obviously, I didn't make it perfect to fit. So let's just kind of go like so. And that should fit right there. Okay. As long as it goes over this line, you're good to go. So let's edit this component. Okay. And let's push this over. Pencil over here. And push that over so it disappears. Okay, there we go. Now, because we do need lines to activate a dimension, might be a good time since you got that line right there. And just kind of, okay, let's erase that. Now we're going to grab our gusset. Now I've got a lot of questions about gusset placement. There's no specific landing dimension, just kind of make it look good. So let's just go like so. Go 
like there. Just make sure it covers all the boards and it's not hanging off. There you go. Now about now, should be able to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna start Okay, here's the notch. Let's lay out our dimensions for that. So the first one's going to be one foot to the start of the notch. So let's go with our tape measure. I guess we can get rid of that line considering where it's at. Okay, one foot. And we'll just go straight up. Once again, it's a construction line. And it says that notch is going to be one and a half tall. One point five or one and a half should be able to erase that construction line. Okay, let's see if our dimensions pan out. We got this, and we got this two and nine sixteenths. There we go. Okay, so that's seven and one sixteenths. Let's see if that's all good. Yes, it is. We know this is one foot. Keep in mind that line should have been drawn in edit component mode. If not, just make sure you do before you move it. And there's our notch. Okay. Now you're going to do the same thing over here, but you're not going to really have to because this is a component. Whatever you do to one component, they both receive that same change. So as you can see here, that notch is already done for you. Now, if you need to do some checking, I would suggest that, and I'm not going to give them the actual number, and you'll find out very soon. Um, the distance from this point here the same point over here should be the width of the outside width of your top of your both walls, basically the width of your house. That, now, please obviously include all the dimensions that I gave or to the best of your ability and you'll get full marks.